Peugeot had already announced at the start of the year that some intriguing light hybridization MHEV options based on 48V technology would be added to the 208 and 2008 ranges. This would strengthen the French manufacturer's offering of its two smallest models, while also positioning them as highly appealing by options for a variety of consumers. After a few months, we were finally able to take a quick spin around Madrid's roads in both models, which lived up to our high expectations. The Peugeot 2008 Urban SUV is limited to the most potent 136 horsepower model, but the Peugeot 208 offers a choice between 100 and 136 horsepower engines. But it's possible to recognize a few commonalities between the two situations, such the enjoyment of driving and the close average consumption. Furthermore, this technology permits a 15% decrease in consumption and CO emissions while still enjoying the benefits of the DGT Eco Label Point 2. They also provide 100% electric driving for around a kilometer at a maximum speed of 30 kilometers per hour, in contrast to thermal variants. Additionally, they have a maximum sailing speed of 150 kilometers per hour. Additionally, they are not required to pay registration tax. The 1.2 liter, three cylinder, turbocharged petrol engine in both cars has a timing chain and is mechanically based on the new EDCS 6 dual clutch automatic transmission. Additionally, the 21 kilowatts electric motor helps the PureTech petrol engine produce an additional 12 horsepower for a brief period of time through the boost effect. Regarding the Peugeot 208, we have previously reported to you the results of this version's test conducted a few weeks ago. In summary, we found that the overall driving experience, the low consumption, and the favorable equipment-to-price ratio were the most appealing aspects.